Don't be alarmed, but the federal government is about to give you a buzz. A nationwide alert is going to be sent out to our cell phones tomorrow afternoon. It's only a test, but why is the federal government messaging us, and how do they get our phone number? Good question. Here's Jeff Wagner. What types of alerts have you gotten on your phone from local or state government? I get the Amber Alerts. Missing child, usually. Weather alerts for tornadoes, potential rainfall in the upcoming minutes. Yeah, flash flood warnings, stuff like that. Between all the beeps and buzzes on your phone, wireless emergency alerts tend to stand out. Oh, I know that Amber can be startling. Yeah. It is very startling. <laughs> so far this year in Minnesota, 72 of them have been sent. Amber and weather alerts quickly come to mind, but they also include curfew warnings, which happened during protests in Brooklyn Center. When a grain elevator caught fire in western Minnesota, neighbors got an alert to conserve water to ensure fire crews had an ample supply. Wednesday, however, the test alert won't be local, but coast to coast, courtesy of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It's called the presidential test, um, but it's actually initiated from FEMA. Dana Wahlberg is director of Minnesota's Emergency Communication Network Division. Why might we be getting a national alert? Whether it be a missile attack or any other type of harmful uh, activity, nefarious activity from another country or um, such, then that would be the time that the entire nation would be alerted. I think for from 9-11 and other attacks, I think it's kind of important. Does this mean the government knows all of our phone numbers? Absolutely not. I'm guessing they're working with the large phone companies so they can do some type of blanket um, alert. He's right. As long as you're near a cell tower, the alert will reach your phone. And if your phone is turned off, the alert will appear once you power up again. There's no location um, tracking that goes on with this. It's a one-way um, message disseminated to the public. You are able to opt out of getting the test alerts from the federal government but not the actual alerts. I think if the government chooses to, to send us something on everyone's phones, it's probably something pretty important. If it saves a life. Jeff Wagner, it's worth it. All right. WCCO 4 News. The federal alert test is going to start around 1.20 tomorrow afternoon and should last till about 1.50. To learn more about how to access the alerts on your phone, look up this story on our website. If you have a good question, Jeff should look into it. Just email him at wcco.com links.